Hello and welcome back. Now today I want to do a quick update on Glean. Glean is fantastic for note taking. It can be in lectures, it can be in meetings, anywhere you want. It comes with a phone app by the way which is free as part of your subscription. Now obviously students tend to use this for lectures and it's great for online lectures recording but also live lectures. So it's worth getting yourself a little mic. There's some good ones out there. Now this is just a quick overview. I'm not going to go into detail. I want you to be able to watch this video and just get up and running. So let's get stuck in. Top left hand corner we've got multiple options. Now all I want you to concentrate on is collections. Now you can see I've got collections here already. We're training a module. Now you might think that's a bit boring, you just want to start recording, but make sure you create those folders or it gets messy trying to find anything. You end up going to search and trying to type in and remember. So get those folders sorted priority. Now I've got some folders there already, so I'm going to open up module. And now I'm in module. I can sit at the top here, I can now create a new recording by selecting new event. Now on the right here, I've got a YouTube channel. I've got a YouTube video and I'm just going to record John Keats. I've got some old slides I'm going to upload into Glean so then you can record the audio to each corresponding slide. You're already half organized by doing that. So first thing is to upload the slides. But bear in mind as well, you can take snapshots what you're looking at the screen and that could be a white ball, black ball or online slides. But if you get the slides, upload them first because it gives you more organization. So I'm going to select import slides. I've got some PowerPoints there. Double tap them. You can use PDFs. What Glean does, it uploads them up into the cloud and then converts them into a portable document format because PDFs are smaller and easier to move around. You still have the original PowerPoint, whether it is on your desktop or cloud, in the PowerPoint PPTX extension. Now I've got my slides uploaded. I need to choose what I'm going to record. Now if I come up here, click record button, I've got three options. The first one, in-person recordings for live lectures. Point the mic and record, but don't forget the Gleans Notes app. That's really good as well. We can get that both on Android and Apple. Now I want to look at the bottom two because it's online content. Now you can record Panopto, Teams, Skype, it's endless. I'm going to record this YouTube channel and I'm going to select the option here, Browser Tab Audio. That will only record what's coming out of the YouTube channel. If I select the one underneath, it will also use your external mic and record what I'm saying as well as what's coming through your YouTube channel. Select that. I've got three options at the top. Chrome tab, so that you see that on the right, it's actually a YouTube Chrome tab, but you might want to do entire window, entire screen, or even a window, it's your choice. So I'm going to select the YouTube channel and make sure this is toggled to share the audio, it's really important. When I click share, it's going to start recording. There we go, you can see recording. So on the right, I'm going to select the play button and turn the volume down a bit so you can hear me. So hopefully, you can hear me. Uh, thank you very much indeed, Principal. And it's now and, recording um, because look here, you can see the cursor is creating these blocks that you can see King's visually, College, which means you can now work uh, with them better. Inviting me to present and I'll show you what I mean. Keats On the left, we've got the slide. In the middle, we've got slide one, John um, Keats, where I you can annotate and add your information. And on the right, we're recording the audio. So now, if you want, if you prefer to see the text as well, or the um, captions evening. coming up, um, come up to the top here, next to the stop Keats button, and click CC. See at the bottom here, that and will now bring up the captions uh, for you, what's being said. If you want to see that officially uh, during a lecture or online content. Now, as it's recording, you've got these options down the bottom here. Explaining Red, which, which is important, and yellow for review. I would say, uh, probably yellow you can use for whatever you want. It might not necessarily be for review over a certain thing. You might want it for didn't understand. It could mean different things to you. It's up to you. But I'm going to hit the red button first. Can you see now there, it's brought a red circle up. So I could add a note in here if I want. You don't have to. You can do this afterwards. And then click the arrow on the right. And now you can see in the middle, I've got important with the red exclamation mark. And that's been indicated in the actual audio as it's recorded. So I know exactly when it's been spoken. And I've told myself I need to go back to that because it's important. As we come down, it's important to... Under the same old suburban moon. 
We can call this Keats land. It's important also to understand that you need to change the slides if they're visible on the actual lecture. In this case, they're not. But if they were, come to the left and select Post Next Slide. And it actually posts it. It's important to do that because look in the middle. We've got slide two early lives been separated, but also the audio on the right has been separated. So it's important you do that. The next option was the yellow. Again, it's up to you what you want that to represent. Tap on it once, and I'll just put. I'll just put anything. Do not know. Click the enter key or click the arrow, and again, it's been indicated, annotated in the middle, but also on the audio slide too. Also on the right here, you've got an option. You might they might show, for example, a white ball, black ball, or some kind of image online you want to record. Hit that button. Post snapshot and it pops a snapshot for you in the middle there and you can see with a little bullet point here it's been indicated there so you're starting to gather information and you're not panicking because you're missing stuff which a lot of people do during lectures next option here we've got an upload image if you want so you've got an image that's relevant to whatever you're listening to you can upload it this is quite handy. Hampstead, definition. Oxford, so you might want to pop Burford a definition Bridge, in there. So I'm just going to pop Keats Hill. and click enter. Places and they just give you some basic information on John Keats there. Poems. So it's great to throw something into your own notes quickly. Come back to it at a later date. Now I'm going to post next slide. Let's imagine the slide's changed again. We're now on slide three as you can see here. And on the right it's all syncing beautifully. Next option I might want to add. Is the task button. So there might be a task you feel you need to do, for example, or they've asked you to do. So I'll put more research and click the enter key. Before you do, though, you could add a due date. Give yourself a little reminder. So I'll do the middle of next week and click the enter or click the arrow for me. And again, you can see here where it's added it in due date. Good thing about this, you can come back to it to get off later, look, which is great. But you see on the right where it's highlighted it in that colour as well, like a more purple colour. So you know exactly why you've added that as well. Really great option. Next, do another post next slide. I said slide we've changed again. We're now in slide four. Now, if I come to the right here, We've got a squiggle option. You could do a few notes for yourself, couldn't you? Uh, my art's not very good, so don't worry about that. You can choose different colours if you want as well. But it's good to scribble down something quick. Or do a quick image. Good for maths, actually, as well, if you're in a maths, doing a maths degree or lecture. Pop that in there. Close that for me. Next, I want you to pause. So top left-hand corner, same button as we click for recall. We'll pause that. Token, that will pause it, and you can see it's indicated here. So if there's a group discussion or meeting, stop for a break. Million. Good idea to and pause that. Click record again, White, and you're now recording. Now I'm going to click Margate, stop next to it, where he knew he could compose and I'm now going to pause and stop the lecture. So I want to ask why the I'm going to maximise Glee to see what we've got. Now if I come to the middle, the scroll bar, and scroll up. We've now got all the information organised with the audio on the right. So if I click the first one, important, you can see how it's highlighted on the right red. From the time I press the red important button to the time I press the enter key or black arrow, it's highlighted that red. So I know that information might be relevant. Now you've got to remember, sometimes you don't know information's important, do you, until it's been said. But you could always indicate with the red and no to go back on that. So you might go, actually, no, it was just before that that was important and if I click important and play um, I know guys hospital and it's keeps us and pause and then you can record that red afterwards to indicate that was important so you can work post lectures or meetings as well the important bits quite hard because the information might already have gone but you've got to say to yourself oh I need to go back on that or remember the notes we added here earlier well, we didn't know if it was important, you could have just said 20 seconds ago. It's up to you and click the enter key. And you can add multiple notes regarding that if you want as well. Now these boxes here are pretty cool. I'll tell you why. Look, if I click play, it's only going to play back the red bit. Most paintings of Keats don't count. And that way you could add different information in there, couldn't you? Notes. 
but you don't really need to because you could always transcribe that audio and copy your notes over if you want later which i will show you as well so also in this box we've got multiple options here on the right we've got three little dots on the ellipsis you might want to convert that into a main heading now some slides are massive so you can break the slides down into headings maybe you want to convert that to a task like we did earlier with the little box or maybe you want to delete it and also the ellipsis above you can delete the whole group if you want as well it's important to remember to add notes here if you need them you don't necessarily always need them you've got a plus button here as well we can add another card underneath and you see when we add a card here come along to the right we've got the options again when you could post an image add a definition or turn that into a task or even if you want maybe do some scribbles there or just add a note by typing in here so that way you give yourself organized information again if we come down to the yellow option depending on how you want to use that for you've got the same option but you notice when I clicked into it the slide on the left changed to slide 2 because that's when it was added and on the right you can see the yellow option in this case I put this as did not know for an example now I've got that image underneath as well now I want to come to the right here three options audio transcript to outline I'm going to click transcript so I'm going to click transcribe audio to transcribe that choose your language English and transcribe now we've got all the transcription from the lecture as you can see here on the right now if I come along at the top here I could select outline and generate a quick outline to break that down and what it does it gives you an outline with headings now there might be stuff missing but it's good as it says for outlines quickly now in this case I hardly add anything there's hardly any text there but imagine an hour meeting or one to two hour lectures and that's great outlines to work with there as well but I want to go back to transcription now I might go through the transcription highlight some information so I'm going to highlight this paragraph and a little arrow will pop up post so if I can click post it will now post it in the middle under slide one where I added it earlier with the audio is now synced with the note so you've got context to when it was spoken and then I might scroll down here on the right now I've got anything else that I could use from my own notes how about that again click the arrow and again it posts it into the middle for you so you can add various bits of information scroll down a bit more let's just grab all this and I'm going to post all that and again it's all posted as a bullet point so that way you can copy over notes as well for your vision at a later date or meeting now a good way to actually see how well you understood the lecture or meeting is to come at the top here and click this little icon that says quiz me now I haven't got a lot of information there but we see how it goes now this uses artificial intelligence and it creates a little quiz on what you've just listened to so I want to select and start the quiz and here you can see how do you place this influence John Keats poetry and then you can click on the one you think is correct and keep scrolling down and going through the quiz now obviously the more you've recorded the more quiz questions you'll have so it's just a great way to see how much you actually understood and took in come out there top left now once you've got all your notes and slides it's a good idea to come to the top here and select a little option here which is reading view copies all your information you've added into reading view as you can see there and then if you click it again we can now paste that into a word document you've now got all your slides all your information and snapshots we took all within a word document that you can file around and use at a later date so there's a lot more to it than that but it's just a quick overview just to get you up and running Thanks for watching.